Dr. Todd McDougall is a chiropractor, um, one of my long-term friends, and you know I've known him actually for about 20 years. So when he says to actually try something, it, you, you try it. So he, he suggests I try play again, and, and I was very happy that I did. My fitness routine is a little different than most people's because I'm still a competitive strongman. Um, I played football in high school and college, through college. I got into powerlifting, uh, which and bodybuilding, and then it kind of transgressed into strongman. So. In 1998, I got my pro card out in Las Vegas at my first America Strongest Man. So I've been a pro for a long time. Really, I trained three or four days a week, very heavy, um, basically based around uh, the Olympic movements like the, the clean and the, the snatch and the push jerk. Um, then I do a lot of str uh, event training, so a lot of heavy grip work, a lot of heavy car carry loads. So I'm carrying heavy, heavy weight, um, but I train heavy. Like I said, three to four days a week, so it's, uh, recovery is a prom is, is much needed. I, I've been taking play again for about a month now. Um, when I first took it, to be honest with you, I, I, I took the very first one, and uh, I woke up the next morning going, you know, seriously, my knee doesn't hurt. So I was like, ah, come on, there's no way something works that fast. I've I've been involved in the nutritional supplements for 30 years, so I've got a fairly good idea of what goes on in my body. So the very next day, I was like, okay, I felt a little better. Then I felt a little better. And then, you know, at 45, I thought just pain was just part of the equation. You, know, you just kind of hurt, uh, but then I wasn't hurting as much. And as it wasn't hurting as much, it allowed me to train more intensely. Um, one thing I've learned as you get older, you can train hard, but you can't train hard all the time. You gotta take time in between those really hard bouts. So I'd still train, but a lot of times I can't go total max effort. I have to go like circa max, so go to close to my max, or maybe 90%, or maybe do a lot of speed work. Uh, because I just didn't recover, but as I started play again, I was able to train heavier and heavier and heavier, but continue to recover. So the key for anyone resistance training wise, you, you can only train as much as you can recover. So the faster I recover, the harder I could train, which equated to more gains. The physical symptoms I had was just, just normal, what I thought at the age of 45 was just normal joint pain. You know, everything just kind of ached. You know, you wake up in the morning. I mean, I would literally get out of bed and, you know, it's just you know, kind of stiff and then like you kind of walk down the stairs gingerly until things get kind of lubricated, warmed up. And, you know, a lot of times I train in the morning, so I'll get up at 4 a.m., be at the gym by 5. Well, then it, literally my warm-up is an hour-long warm-up before I can actually start training hard and I've got an hour, hour to really train hard. Um, what I noticed was, you know, just once I started taking play again, it didn't take as long to warm up. I got out of bed, my joints didn't hurt, my back didn't ache, my ankles didn't hurt, my knees didn't hurt. I mean, literally, I would take the stairs, and I kid you know, I'd be like one step at a time, like a, like a toddler. And then it's like, after about four or five days on play again, it's like I, I went down the stairs. I got to the bottom of the stairs, and I was like, I just ran down the stairs. That, okay, this stuff must be doing something. So then really, that's how I got in, really involved with this. Like, I gotta I got read more. So Debbie sent me all the research, so I read the research as well. Yes, I take play again every day, except a couple times I ran out for two days. That will never happen again, because I don't like the way you feel when you're not taking play again. So, Well, I, it's not that I stopped, I just, you know, uh, my daughter came home from college, she's 21, she wanted to use it, so she took my bottle. And then, you know, we were busy with the kids, because we got two kids in baseball, so we're doing all kinds of stuff, and like I didn't take it on a, one day, and then I didn't take it the next day, well, the next day when I woke up, I'm like, oh my God, what hit me? I felt like I was in a car accident. I just woke up, like everything came back. I'm like, that won't happen again. I came right to the gym, got another bottle and took it right as soon as I got to the gym and took a second helping that night and a third one the next morning to get my levels back up and then I was fine. But no, I, uh, no, I would not do that again. No, not, no, not happening. After I'd been off of play again for a couple of days, I took the first dose when I got to the gym that morning. Um, by that night, I actually could feel it working back in. I took a second dose that, of the play again that night before I went to bed. And by the next morning, I was back to normal. You know? And then I took it, just, just to be safe, I took another dose you know, that very next morning. So I had three doses in about a 24-hour period. Then I just went right back to my normal regimen, which is I just take it before I go to bed. I mean, it's the last thing I do. You know, I think the cool thing is, like, and we don't talk about it, that's it's a natural anti-inflammatory. I mean, the great thing, when you're training heavy all the time, your body's always inflamed. I mean, you're always beat up. And you take it, and literally there's days that I think I could train the next day. Now, I just finished uh, Masters America Strongest Man, where I, you know, Debbie said, take a little extra. And I'm like, okay, I'm, uh, I'll try it. So I went six tablespoons, and I'll be honest with you, I woke up, and I, I loaded that for a couple days, 
I did the contest on Friday night. I loaded it. Now you gotta remember, we're still, I'm still helping with getting it, the whole preparation of the contest, moving some equipment, just normal stress. Did the whole contest, came back the next day, didn't feel a thing. Did my next dope, my next six tablespoons. Did the contest, worked the entire night when we put the equipment away. The next morning I woke up going, you know, I'm thinking I'm gonna wake up feeling like a train wreck. I woke up the next day going, you know, I'm not, I could do a third day. You know, and that's, you know, even young kids don't do that. So it's like I, I credit a lot to the plague and just, you know, just as an anti-inflammatory, my joints don't hurt, my muscles don't hurt. You know, when that doesn't hurt, it's amazing what you can do. I mean, you can go back to the gym and train again. You know, and the key is for any athlete, the more often you train, the more stimulus you get, the faster you make progress. So I, I don't see why every athlete would be using this. Right now, I actually feel pretty good. A little beat up because I've, I've squatted heavy three, uh, three consecutive workouts in a row, which I haven't done in probably two decades. Um, hitting PRs. I mean, you're 45 years old. How often you're 45, you're hitting lifetime personal records. So it, 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 makes, it makes it fun. Um, I don't know. I, I laugh because I told one of the guys, play against like the fountain of youth. I mean, I feel like I'm 25 again because my joints don't hurt. Nothing hurts. When nothing hurts, you can, it's amazing what you can get done. After taking play again, I can definitely feel my energies higher just because I recover. I'm not, I think because it is an anti-inflammatory, because it is so good on your joints, because it's needed in every cell of your body, when you recover better, you're not wasting as much energy on recovery. So you actually can, can kind of put that towards other things, I would think. You know, now I haven't, I mean, I, test, I take my body fat, but I haven't really seen a huge difference in body composition change. Not a huge, but, a, but I have seen a difference in a month. I mean, when you, when you change a percent of body composition and don't change anything, that kind of wakes you up. Now, if you can do that for 12 months in a row, that'd be pretty cool. But you know, I think the cool thing is, is the longer you take it, the better it works. I would definitely think it is just from anecdotal evidence from seeing, you gotta think, I mean, here at the gym, um, I don't know, how many cases we sold? Like 10 cases? 10 or 11, 12 cases in the last month? I think Plagan's one of those products that it's a game changer. I mean, it really changes the scope of, of how you train. If, if you can still train, if you're 45 years old or 55 years old or 65 years old and you can turn back the clock 20 years, that's huge. You know, and, and I think that's the demographic that everyone's missing. The one that actually spends money, the one that goes out and buys a $80,000 car and doesn't think about it because I got a nice car that has a nice watch. You know, what's 50 bucks a week to manage pain? They hell, they spend a hell of a lot more than that on, on everything else. So why not spend 50 bucks on something that's going to make you feel better, actually do something for your body, and then and make you healthy? I'm a, I own a gym. I grew up in the sports nutrition industry. Um, I think what the takeaway is is that, you know, uh, when, when someone walks through my gym door, I, I don't look at them and say, okay, no, judging them, I know what they need. No, I don't know what you need. I don't know what you need until they talk to you. But you know what, when I walk through and I say, well, the only kids, the only people buying sports nutrition products are 18 to 35, that's horse crap. You know what, 10, 12 cases of play again in the last month? Why? Because you know what, I can say, honestly, I use it and it works. And you know what, if people believe what I use and then they start using it and they go, holy crap, this actually does work. You know, you know what, maybe there's the 10% that are just the non-responders. You know what, that's a fact of life. That's every supplement under the sun. That's most drugs under the sun. Okay, but you know what, if 90% of the people that use this product feel better, can exercise harder, train harder, and derive benefits from it, why isn't everyone selling it? That's my big question. It's under the radar now, and no one knows about it, but I think once you, once it hits, once it hits, this thing's gonna explode. I mean, this is gonna be in every, it's everywhere. You know, I don't, every doc I've actually suggested to use it, they use it, and I'm like, I can't believe this. I mean, this is better than any drug I've ever taken. I'm like, yeah, no kidding, because you know what, your body's not deficient in drugs, it's deficient in nutrients, it's deficient in hyaluronic acid, which is a precursor to synovial fluid and the fascial tissue of, of all your muscles. 
that's why you need it. You're not deficient in Celebrex, you're not deficient in drugs, you're deficient in nutrients. And this is a nutrient that we can add in to make you healthy, recover faster, feel better. Why wouldn't everybody be taking it? I've been taking omega-3 fatty acids for 25 years. Um, this is bigger. This is bigger than, and the reason I say that is because I've used about, I've, probably every supplement on the market I've used once, if not twice. Um, I remember when California Body Club Ed Bird and Anthony Almada brought creatine to the forefront of the sports nutrition industry. That was 1991. I mean, I was there at the ground floor. And I remember how much, how excited they were about it. And the, here's the research. And all the research came out of the UK. And the UK actually used it for, the, for the, that previous Olympics. And that's how they kind of got onto it. Well, then it went from a $100,000 company in 1991 to selling, they sold their entire stock of the company California Body Cup then became EAS, which EAS became the, probably the biggest and well-known supplement co company ever in the history of the United States, even far widespread than, than Joe Weider. Um, they sold that company for $100 million. I don't know, $100,000 to $100 million? Pretty damn good investment. Once you start taking it, I don't want to find a day off that I'm not using it. You know, and if you get a dedicated customer and they're spending 50 bucks a week, or I guess that'd be a hundred bucks a month. If you got a million people spend a hundred bucks a month, it's a lot of money. I mean, and, and it's a lot of help. It's not like you're a charlatan giving them saying, oh, this is a product that's gonna do this, but it's snake oil. No, this is actually the real thing. And I think once once it hits, it's just gonna, it's gonna explode. I play again, you know you need fish oil. You know you need protein. You know you need all these other nutrients. You know you need a multivite. But how many times are you taking a multivite? The only thing that makes you look, oh wow, I peed green. Wow, that's great. But I know I need it, so I take it. It's kind of like insurance. You know, I know I need insurance to go drive my car, so I get it. But do you really? This is actually something when you take plague and you feel it right now. Boom. I mean, you with it. I mean, for me it was overnight. For some people, it's maybe a, a week or two. And I know Willie took like ten days. But you know, now I mean, the guy literally, the guy would walk in the gym. Now he walks in standing upright. I mean, it's like. I don't know, do you remember the, the, the one, uh, babies, they crawl and they stand up and then you become an old man and you come back down to you crawling again. Well, he's gone up to here and now he's coming down. Now he's kind of coming back up. So that's kind of a cool thing. And then, I mean, the guy's like 60 plus years old now. He's actually moving better than he has for the last 10 years. I mean, if that's one guy, what, I mean, how many of those, what's that demographic? Those people, I want that, I want to feel that way. Those cocoon, you remember that movie? That's what it kind of reminds me of. Like they all went to this where the space aliens cocoons were and then they all came out feeling young again. It's kind of like with Plague Inn. You, you start taking Plague Inn, you feel decades younger. I mean, if you're 60 and you feel 40, that's a pretty good feeling. If you're 40 and you feel 20, that's a pretty good feeling. If you're 80 and you feel 60, it's a pretty good feeling. So I think that's, I mean, it's just a gold mine way to happen. I'm passionate about the gym industry. And to be honest, like I've, I've told Debbie, it's like I've never, when I left the supplement industry in 2003, I never wanted to go, I mean, I never wanted to work for somebody else. I wanted to work for myself. You know, after, I mean, I was using this and I was like, wow, and then I would just start talking. I got a case and I sold it and I got a case, another case, I sold it, another case. Like, you know, I would actually, I, and this is a really, if you don't know me, you don't know how bold the statement is, I would actually put a suit on again to sell this product because that's how much I believe in it. You know, and there's not a lot of products out there I believe in. Is the research meaningful to me? To me, it's 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 very meaningful. Um, my educational background is in exercise science and nutrition. So, um, from a from a science standpoint, I enjoy reading the science. I enjoy understanding how it works. Um, for the average person, do they care? They don't care. All they care is it works. You know, I don't care about. I mean, I, I tell people. I mean, we laugh whenever we train a trainer. It's like you know, yes, we understand the physiology. I understand the Krebs cycle. I understand all this. All, all these technical terms. Does your client care? No, they don't care. They only care about the results. So, you know, what? if someone asks me, well, what does it do? I can go into the science to them. That's cool. But really, what, all they want to know, does it work? You know, and how fast? You know what? And I, I, I back everyone we sell up saying, look, if you're not happy with the bottle, bring it back. I'll pay you back. I'll pay you out of my own pocket because I know it's going to work. I haven't had to refund anybody's money because it all works. Now, what's funny is even the people say, well, I didn't really feel anything, so we'll quit taking it then. Then they come back a week later and say, I need another ball that crap, because I'll tell you what, it was doing something. I didn't really feel like it was doing anything, but now I'm not taking it. No, it was doing something. So, you know, that's, that's, that's the, right there's the, right there's the answer. It works.
When something works, when play it like a product, like play again, play again works. The research is great, but I don't need the research. All I need to know is it works, and that's what the bottom line for most people. Is. Play again safe. It's an inert product. I mean, there's not. There, it doesn't interact with any drugs. I mean, it has no interaction with anything that you're taking. You can take. I mean, I know some people say take it on an empty stomach. I'll take it right before I go to bed. You know, and right before that, I've taken my last protein shake of the day. So for that last meal before I go to bed, but then 20 minutes later, I'm taking playing it. It doesn't interfere with anything. It doesn't mix with anything. Actually, it's absorbed in the, in the buccal cavity of your mouth almost instantaneously. I mean, I think one of the research studies show with once it hit your once it hit your your palate, it was in the rest of your body within 40 seconds. I mean, that's 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 pretty cool stuff. Once you know what play again does, you'd be an idiot not to use it. If you understand the science and you understand how this has worked for multitudes of people, and you understand play again, I don't know what's the right term. I, I'm trying to think. One of my clients calling my joints feel spongy again. I mean, Eric's 47 years old. You know, he's a construction worker. He owns a construction company. He's like, you know, I feel like a kid. You know, my joints feel, and his words are spongy. And, you know, it's like, you know, once you explain to someone what it does and how well it works, I don't see what's 50 bucks. Seriously, what's 50 bucks? If you can't find 50 bucks in your, in your, in your month, what are you doing? Come talk to me. How many times do you eat now? How many pops you drink? How many Starbucks you knocking out in a month? You know, you'll find the money if you want to. Play is one of those things that should be sitting on the shelf in every house because it's going to, it works, period.